In Dianetics, there is a technique called returning. The practitioner, called an auditor, guides the pre-clear, his subject, through an incident of trauma. Whereas a Dianetics auditor uses the technique of returning the pre-clear to times of his past, a Trom practitioner brings the past into his present. This technique is called time-breaking. It breaks the illusion of time. Alison Tandry here, continuing our series of instructional videos on each of Trom's five levels. While we've taken every effort to make this video palatable for the first-time viewer, if you have any difficulty following this, I recommend you watch Time Breaking, The Illusion of Time Explained on this channel, which provides you a comprehensive overview of Trom's first three levels. After watching this presentation, you can do a deeper study of how Trom Level 3 works by listening to my podcast on this channel. The first level of Trom is an exercise which helps root you in the present to prepare you to face the past, and helps you maintain your mental balance. This exercise, the repair of importances, also known as our I, is repeated throughout all of Trom's remaining levels. Level 2 of Trom introduces you to time breaking. Time breaking is the act of viewing the past and present simultaneously. On level 2 you compare objects and people from the past to ones in the present as a first step towards separating past from present in your mind. Trom Level 3 takes time breaking a step further in that you are now going to experience events in your life while maintaining awareness of your surroundings. This practice will dissolve much of the pain and upset you faced in the past while still leaving your memories intact. At the end of Level 3, you'll be able to recall past events in your life with much less upset over them, making your mind a much more comfortable place to be. As always, do not attempt any Trom level until you've completed the levels before it, and fully understand the procedure for that level. We cannot emphasize this enough on this channel. Doing Trom exercises out of order is not going to end up very well for you and your mental balance. That said, if you follow our precise instructions, you can practice Trom safely and effectively. If you run into any problems, you can always write us at tromguides at gmail.com. The exercise commands for level 3 are as follows. Select a past scene. Become simultaneously aware of the scene and present time around you. Don't try and time break all of the scene at once. Take it a bit at a time. Continue to do this until the past scene fades, that is to say it begins to fall away in intensity compared to the present. Once accomplished, you select a new scene and repeat this process. You continue until you are willing and able to time break all of your known past. It sounds pretty simple and straightforward, doesn't it? Except for one line that was not explained as fully as it could have been in the original edition of Dennis Stevens's book, and that's the part about taking the incident a bit at a time. Dennis did clarify this point in a later 90s lecture, and this will be our focus for today's presentation. Dennis will say in the manual to handle incidents at level 3, bits at a time. When I first read this, I thought I was supposed to go through an incident one moment at a time, handling one moment thoroughly, then proceeding to the next. While one can do this, Dennis later clarified in his 90s lectures that he means for you to look at the scene one aspect at a time. Sight, then sound, then other sensations, emotions, and so on and so forth. If you want to time break an emotion by itself, you make yourself aware of that emotion and the present surroundings until the emotion fades. But make sure that emotion fades completely. Not just grief turning into fear or fear turning into anger. Make sure you are at the very least bored of it and don't be surprised if you find yourself contented or even enthusiastic. You may even start laughing once you tie break an emotion. You can start out feeling some physical pain, so just experience that pain and your surroundings at the same time until the pain fades away. 
And don't stop time breaking if the pain dissolves into a tingling or funny feeling or even tiredness. Keep going until you're feeling normal again. Now to cover postulates. For the benefit of those watching or listening who have no previous experience with TROM, I'll explain what a postulate is briefly. A postulate is an intention, a desire to put it at its simplest. If while time breaking an incident on level 3 you become aware of a postulate, time break it by experiencing that postulate and your present surroundings. In the manual, Dennis talks about what to do if you're trying to time break an incident that will not fade back into the past by your simply experiencing it. If you have time broken all the sensations, the emotions and the postulates and the incident is still there, you need to note differences and similarities between the incident and your present surroundings. These incidents that don't time break easily are called stickers and you will encounter them again most likely when you do levels 4 and 5 of Tron. But for now, let's just make sure such are time broken and we'll worry about levels 4 and 5 later on. Thanks for joining us today for our first installment in our series on time breaking. For the next video, we'll walk you through how an actual level 3 session would run and beyond that we'll expand on the points covered today and cover such topics as how levels 3, 4 and 5 relate to each other, how to handle some of the more unusual events that may occur during your TROM sessions, and much more. So make sure and subscribe to our channel, watch more videos, listen to more lectures, and download our free ebook if you haven't already. I'm Alison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.